Hello everyone, it's me, Dully Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Er, hello everyone, it's me, Dully Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Let's Rebuild Willow Creek Rindle Rose Edition. Guys, this is the last house in Willow Creek, or last building in Willow Creek that we have to rebuild. I am so excited to finish up this series, because it's been like a hit and miss. Like, only the super, like, popular houses, like, the Goth Manor and the Pancakes House have been, like, people have been interested in it, and everything else has just been... <clears throat> so, I'm kind of happy to wrap this series up again. But, I'm going back to doing Fixer Uppers on my channel, so... Yay! Anyways, let's take a walk through this house. And when you first come up, it's so cute and dainty-like. It's, like, precious. There's cute little bushes of roses and stuff all over the place. You come up to the patio. Cute. Really cute. I like the yellow. The yellow is a good color. Walk in. Okay, let's take a step back. Poor lighting. Very poor lighting, but that's normal in a base base game sims house like look how sad this little living room is like so sad it's very this like it's just so it's kind of cramped to me the fact that there's no dining table kind of bothers me a lot especially since i get like a little old lady vibe from this house and i feel like a little old lady would have something like that anyways let's walk over here to this room okay bedroom number one good color scheme not super ugly I mean it could use some work I like that they tied the vase into that like f mirror thing I like it I like it a lot that one thing whoops sorry let's go over here the bathroom oh toilet paper is kinda of far away from the bathroom but that's normal mm, this room is surprisingly not like poorly lit. It's not like a dark, scary bathroom. Good size. Needs improvement, though. Let's walk over here. Ooh, I just feel like vomiting. This is an ugly-ass puke green color. It is so ugly. I want to literally throw bleach into my eyes. Damn, I have never been this critical about a Sims house before. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is so bad. I can't even work right now. Okay, well, that's the entire house, so I will see all of you guys in the rebuild. Hello, everyone. How did you like that rebuild? I mean, this is the rebuild right now. How did you like that walkthrough? It was very grandma-esque, wasn't it? The answer is yes. If you're, like, shaking your head no, you're a liar. <laughs> Anyways, I had a okay time building this house, or rebuilding, I should say. And I was looking at it, and for some reason, I wanted to get, like, a New York feel in this house. Like, an apartment in New York, which I think I kind of got. I have some exposed brick. Right? Or am I on drugs and lying? No, I feel like I have exposed brick. I made a sectional, because I feel like that's something that would exist in the New York apartment. Could be wrong. Anyways, how are you guys doing this week? I'm doing okay I'm doing okay I have a lot of like mental stuff going on right now but not like don't worry I'm not gonna kill myself promise you guys <laughs> give me like a reason to continue anyways I just made this so like morbid and horrible I'm so sorry I took a bubble bath I took a bubble bath and as you know I absolutely love my bubble baths because it's so relaxing I got to watch an episode of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which is my new favorite TV show. I love that show so much. Like, literally, I watch it and I'm like, why I, why have I not been watching this sooner? Because it is so good and I don't want to spend this whole episode, like, or this whole bill talking about Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I could. I easily could because her world, mentally, because the main character, oh god, what's her name? I'm only like through the first season. I should know her name. Rebecca. Rebecca Bunch. Like her whole world, if you haven't watched the TV show, 
it's kind of like Jane the Virgin. You know how like in Jane the Virgin, there's the main character. I don't watch the TV show. I just watched a few snippets. You know how like everything in the TV show in her mind is kind of like a soap opera, telenovela type of thing? It's kind of like that with uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, but everything in her mind is a musical. Everything's a musical number. So her, her like fellow cast members or like friends in the TV show, they all get musical numbers and I'm like, whoa, this is almost like my mind where everything's a musical number. Mostly because I don't like to deal with my own problems head on. I like to bury them. This is a very, I know this has just started, like I'm only two minutes into talking and I've already like delved into like deep psychological issues. <laughs> And I'm so sorry. You, this is not the type of video you guys signed up for. I know. You want me to talk about the build, which I totally will. Sort of. Not really at all. Ever. I talk about it for a little bit, and then I just start talking about my life. Because, truthfully, this is more of a video diary than anything else. Like, this is where I can talk about my feelings and emotions, which I really don't. There's very few times, and I could so many builds I really don't want to go back and like find which videos that I where I talked about my feelings so I'm not going to oh see there's the exposed brick I'm not on drugs after all that's a first yeah but yeah crazy ex-girlfriend 10 out of 10 would recommend I've been talking nobody's been watching it and I don't know why it's kind of like my other favorite TV show unreal I don't know why nobody's been watching unreal I should make a cat of Unreal. Why have I not been doing this before? Oh my gosh. I feel like punching a small cow. I don't know why I said that. Anyways. Uh, let me talk to you about how much I hate math because as you guys know, because I say this almost every week, I'm in a math class and I am so stressed about the upcoming math test because it's next week and I am so so stressed about it already. Why? I have no idea. But I am very, 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 very stressed about it. I don't, it's Monday, so it's in less than a week from today. And oh, the last exam was so hard and stressful. And my professor was out for like a whole week. And it's not like he, everything, he just skipped out on material, we had to learn it ourselves at home, and I'm bad at math, so I don't know how I'm going to feel, because he was gone a whole week because he had a baby or whatever, and oh, oh, speaking of my professor, let me tell you, he was savage, he was so savage to one of my classmates, it was great, I laughed, I laughed so hard, I mean, if it was me, I probably would have cried, but I laughed so hard. To myself, though, I'm not going to show emotions in my class. No, 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 no. Anyways, so this is what happened. We were talking, my professor was, like, lecturing, and he was saying, you know, when's a good day to have the test? Because since he had his baby, this whole semester for him, he's told us it's just, he's going to play it by ear because he doesn't know what's going on. And one of my classmates was like, oh, so do you, are you going to put up like a study example like a study sheet and he goes yeah if there's more hours in the day and I was like damn savage and he's like guys guys and everyone was you know started like giggling and he was like I'm so sorry he's like it's just I have so many hours in the day and last week I gave out five exams and I was like holy crap this guy is freaking Wonder Woman I don't know he's like over the top ridiculous with all the crap that he has because okay this is the same professor I believe I told you guys last week he has six kids he has six kids he's a college professor he's doing more than one class and he has a newborn baby that's all I know of his life so far but just having one kid is crazy to me I worry a lot like I am stressed and actually I have a new stress in my life and this might actually affect a video upload schedule but this probably won't happen until like September but I'll tell you right now 
just in case I forget, which I probably won't. But I got a job offer. Sort of. Yeah. It's not like a real job that I can depend on, but I, if you guys know, you guys probably know this about me, but I am in college, duh. That's why I lectured you about going to math class. But I am in college, and what I want to be when I grow up is a math... No, no, God, not a math teacher. Oh, God, just a teacher, just a standard teacher, not a math teacher. I almost said math teacher. Ew. Yeah, <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a teacher. And there is a program in my community, which it's called... Oh, uh, I don't know what it's called. I want to say it's just called Portuguese School. I went to it. I was in it, uh, even though I already spoke Portuguese to begin with. But... I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure that my mom used those Portuguese classes as an excuse to just have babysitting for me and my sister so she wouldn't have to deal with us. And so, one of my old teachers asked me, since I want to be a teacher anyways, if I would be okay with taking on a first grade Portuguese class and I was like mm, I don't know and then she was like you're gonna get paid and I was like okay yeah sure <laughs> and then yesterday or today actually she t my mom called me because she works with that teacher she called me and told me that it is going to be once a week which I already knew that and it's $90 per day I'll let that sit with all y'all yeah it's like $90 a day once a week for nine months. I don't know math, but let me try it. Let's see. So if I pull out my calculator, I'm doing math with you guys. $90 times, there's what, three weeks? Is it three or four weeks in a month? I don't know. Let me open up my calendar now. So sorry, this is probably not what you guys were into. One, two, three, four weeks in a month. I knew that. You guys probably didn't know that, but I knew that. <laughs> times four. So that's all by itself $360 times nine months. That's $3,240 that I can earn and blow on whatever I want. So I was like, hell yeah, for $90 just to babysit. <laughs> Sign me up, but I'm also really worried because, like, I'm a worry wart. I worry about everything. I worry, these are all my worries. I worry that it's a Portuguese speaking class, and I'm pretty sure I told you guys last week that some woman at work came up to me and told me that I do not speak good Portuguese and it is my mom's fault for not teaching me Portuguese. If I didn't tell you that, that could be another story for a, di a different day. But yeah, she came up and told me that to my face. Um, this is a complete stranger that I do not know. And <laughs> um, I also worry about, like, the children. Like, what if they don't know Portuguese? And my mom was telling me that I'm probably going to have to only speak Portuguese to them. Because it's a Portuguese school. And if so, what am I supposed to do? Just keep talking to them in Portuguese even though they don't understand? And then I was also thinking... Because I have never been, like, a problem child, you know? I have never had to really be disciplined. So, what happens if I have, like, a child who's, like, ridiculous screaming and just, you know, a huge handful? Will I be able to handle that? I worry about these things. Like, literally. I am so worried. I feel like I'm gonna have so many questions. And I also try to be a perfectionist, like, I try not to rely on anybody, I try to do everything by myself, and not only by myself, but like I said, I'm a perfectionist, to the best that I could possibly do it. So I worry that I won't be able to be the perfect teacher. The sad part is, I realized saying all this, that these videos don't do that well, so only maybe like two people are gonna watch this video and they're gonna be like, whoa, this person's a freaking weirdo. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I, I feel the gray hairs coming on just thinking about this. Oh god.
this is stressful. If you guys have any tips or, you know, whatever, please let me know. But like I said, I feel like only two or three people are going to watch this video because that's usually what, what this gets. But watch, this is going to be the one time where like 25 people watch this video. But usually people don't watch my videos like a huge audience. I don't normally get a huge audience unless it's like Milfville or I don't know, another stupid name where it like draws people as people's attention. Like the most popular video on my channel is when I used to do the uh, Hugh Hefner, the Playboy series. The Playboy series. That's when I used to have the biggest audience on a few videos. And that was like the videos where it was like, this is not porn. Or always art, never porn. And <laughs> for some reason, that's where I got like the most videos. And I'm like, hmm. Thank you so much, horny teenage boys, for giving me those views. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm getting really close to the end of the video because I'm doing the landscaping, and the landscaping isn't that much. So I'm going to leave this here. Let me know what you think of the house. Let me know if there's any buildings you want to see rebuilt. If you want to create a house for me to rebuild, tag it in the gallery with the hashtag Dilly Sims. Let me know what you think, just period. Tell me that you think I'm crazy. And like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things, and I will catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.